The silk, the pastel colors, the whites and the florals, that sweet peasant top and the long flowy dresses. There are many shapes and sizes to that romantic look. But sometimes when we overdo it, we tend to look shabby and not chic. So ladies, there's no need to fret because today on Fashionistas by Heart, we are going to focus all our attention to the fashion of love and romance. First up, we help our style therapy patient get that romantic dress for that perfect romantic date with the help of designer Hindi Weber Tantoko. And on personal shopper, Jocka shops for the ultimate romantic staple, florals. And she also teaches us how to take care of our precious pearls on TLC. On Kikai Kitchen, Nina, with the help of our celebrity guest, Vanessa Morel, they will teach us different updos that we can easily do ourselves. And finally, I'm going to show you my three outfits for that romantic dinner date. So ladies, sit back and relax as I'm about to give you your daily dose of fashion and glamour here in Fashionistas by Heart. we'd like to have the perfect date. The Prince Charming, the candlelight dinner, and a perfect date will be complete without you being glorious and glamorous. Today on Style Therapy, we are going to help our Style Therapy patient pick out the perfect dress for that romantic date. My boyfriend and I are celebrating our third anniversary together. For our big day, we're planning to go and have a nice romantic dinner. I'm sure it's going to be so romantic. I can't wait. Hey, Sarah, I'm sure you're so excited for your anniversary date. Oh, oh hard, but I really don't know what to wear. I want to look beautiful for our date. Well, you know what? You don't have to worry because you're going to look beautiful with the help, of course, of Hindi Weber Tantoko. She's going to help you pick out the perfect dress for your anniversary date. Hi, Hindi. Thank you Hi. so much for being on the show. Now, uh, when it comes to choosing that outfit for the perfect dinner date, what are the things that the ladies have to remember? Well, you don't want to expose too much. You don't want to flaunt too much of your assets, mm -hmm. right? So I, I'd say um, just you know choose something that's elegant mm -hmm. and a little laid back, but shows your personality. Yeah. So something that shows your individual style without overpowering. Yeah. Your date. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you know I'm so excited for style therapy patient Sarah. So we're going to her right about now. Okay. Let's have a look around. Mm -hmm. Do you want to wear pants? Um, no, you're probably always in pants, right? Yeah. Um, this one's okay, but maybe too busy. Mm. You know, too much print. You, you know, you don't want to do too many prints on a date. Mm -hmm. I think this one. I think this. What do you yeah, think? It's, nice. it's a it's a two tone dress, mm -hmm. and it's a mini, mm -hmm. but you're not showing too much. This is a contender. So let's have a look some more. This is the casual area. I don't mm -hmm. think we want to go there. Let's go over here. So are you excited? Very excited. <laughs> oh, I have one. This one. This is a super sexy 80s inspired lace mm -hmm. dress. So it's also mini, but it's going to hug your body really oh, well. Okay. It's also elegant because it's lace. So this is also kind of cool, but Turn too much. Mm. So I think you know, we'll stick to that. Okay, let's have a look. Do you want a fringe skirt? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe on your third date, not on your first date. Um, this one. I love Next this. up, Marilyn and Chini will find simple. the perfect complimentary top and, and bottom. Will Chini find what she needs? You know, kind of relaxed. When we return, we are going to see the first outfit of Sarah's romantic dinner date, so stay tuned. So aside from the accessories in that perfect dress, important scent. Remember my experience, even if after three years, that scent doon sila na in love, doon ka nila naaalala. Kahit dumaan ka lang sa isang lugar, pag naamoy ka lang, oh my gosh, she was here, something like that. Like you have to remember like, 
Imagine me in a nice white flowing dress, you know, walking in a beach, beautiful sun, weather's fantastic, the waves are nice, and then all of a sudden, this person comes out of nowhere, and you just feel that, you know, there's that connection. Okay, back to reality, but you know what, whatever. That, uh, just watch this. It is my passion and desire to preserve the traditions of the Mediterranean land and its riches. Its bounty, beauty, and fragrances inspired me to create L'Occitane. In the true spirit of hospitality and generosity, I invite you to discover the authenticity of my beloved homeland, Olivier Bosan, founder of L'Occitane. The story of L'Occitane started 30 years ago in a place called Provence, a region in southern France that is incredibly rich in plants. With me today is Ms. Eden Honest, the merchandise manager of L'Occitane. Hi, Ms. Eden. Hi. Okay, so can you tell us briefly about L'Occitane? Um, L'Occitane is a brand from Provence okay. in France. It was started by Olivier Bausan mm -hmm. in 1976. Okay. Um, the first stores were, of course, in France. In France. And Olivier started the brand because um, he wanted to cultivate and to preserve the land, the unspoiled fields, okay. the traditions in Provence. And this has been the inspiration of the natural products that you then, see here in the shop. That yes. is around <laughs> us right now. Its founder, Olivier Bosson, was originally a fragrance merchant who distilled raw materials himself to extract essential oils from the flowers, putting L'Occitane fragrance at the heart of the brand since day one. This is the first category for fragrances. It's called Rose, yes. We have the Rose de May, or Rose of May, which is a woody scent, and the Rose for Rains. This is our best seller. Yeah, this one smells yeah. really good. Yeah. It's called Green Tea. It has a um, combination also of jasmine and mint. Okay. And we have this, it's just launched in the show. It's what a, is this? It's a solid perfume. Solid perfume. Solid perfume. It's actually the first time I heard of, <laughs> heard of something like this. So you just have to yes, put it around it here. This is really cool. It's very handy. You can just put it in your bag and you can smell fresh all day long. And then we also have cherry blossom and peach blossom. Both are really good sellers, especially for younger women. They, they're really more into cherry blossom and peach yeah. blossom nowadays. Yeah. This is also a good collection. It's the lavender collection. Yes. And Impatience for Lavender came from Provence in France. It's unisex. Yeah, the unisex yeah. one, the one you can share with your boyfriend. Yes. And then we also have Verbena. It's citrus notes. It's a very, very good product. We have citrus verbena and the regular verbena. And then we also have home perfumes. And then we also have the men's collection. Okay. This is interesting rice. Yes, Why it's red it? rice, but this is for skincare. All these fragrances were created using centuries-old distillation methods and techniques, which has also been the secret of this all-natural brand. Bazan's respect for nature and the desire to preserve French perfumery traditions helped him envision what L'Occitane is today. So this is their latest fragrance. It's the Bergamot tea, right? Am I pronouncing that correctly?
chose a sleeveless white silk dress, and I chose white because I wanted it to be understated, but at the same time elegant. So now let's look at the daytime look, Vanessa. Ba? Wow! Oh, the ba? Parang Rosalinda. Shopping, food trips, vacations. Now you can win all these great prizes at the online auctions on WMN.ph. One spectacular prize a day will be auctioned off from August 29 to September 12. To bid online, all you need are the points you can earn at WMN.ph. Log on now and get clicking. Log in for 100 points. Post a comment for 50 points. Subscribe to the newsletter or email a friend for 50 points. Click on the mechanics plugs for 100 points. Type in the magic keyword you spot while watching the Q shows for 150 points. Click on a sponsor's leaderboard for 200 points. Click on a sponsor's display ad for 250 points. Click on a sponsor's TV ad for 300 points. Take a quiz for 350 points. It's that easy! And if you don't think you have enough, Call your friends and combine your points with theirs for the win. Now you're ready to be the highest bidder. On Love to Watch, Love to Bid. Therapy patient Sarah, who's getting ready for her romantic dinner date. And right about now, we are going to see her first outfit. Okay, tell us something about the first outfit. Well, I chose a sleeveless white silk dress. And I chose white because I wanted it to be understated, but at the same time, elegant. So it's really simple, but it's embellished. So you can wear it for a nice restaurant, but still feel comfortable. And that's it. Now, what are the shoes or the bags accessories that she should wear with it? I would pair it with uh, gold accessories, like a nice gold clutch or vintage earrings. Definitely nothing on the neck because um, it's, it's embellished already. So you, you could even wear it with gold flats. Okay, so it's time to reveal the first dress. Sarah? We are going to see Sarah's second outfit, so stay tuned as Fashionistas by Heart will be right back. And now for my three romantic outfits. First, I'm wearing a really nice black tank top, which you can get anywhere. It's very cheap. And a nice bib, which is very fab nowadays. And a pink pinch skirt and nice Michael Kors shoes. That's it, and you're ready to go to that perfect date with that Prince Charming of yours. And now it's time for KK Kitchen. Nina and our celebrity guest, Vanessa Morel, is going to show us different updos for that perfect dinner date. Fashionistas, hindi mo kailangan maging leading lady or princess para madala ang romantic look. One way to achieve that sweet, dreamy getup is to come up with a perfect hairstyle. Mm. Inside tonight's Kiki Kit are several tips on romantic updos, perfect for Sunday lunches and dinner dates. Kasama na natin ang ating special guest today. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Paul. Okay, so, saan mo gagamitan yung romantic hairstyle? Every for... Sunday kasi, nag, um, nagla-lunch kami, tsaka nag-dinner kami ng mga kapatid ko. After, yun, after SOP, pag hindi ako nakapag-lunch with them, mm -hmm. dinner na lang. So, Pag, siyempre, kasama nila yung mga asawa nila, uh, tapos yung boyfriend mo, tapos ganun. Siyempre, kailangan maganda ka rin. Maganda, oo. Oh, oh. Okay, so typically, the romantic hairstyle, they involve a lot of elaborate curls, a lot of twists, a lot of chignons, but they don't always have to, diba? And so, our peg for today is Angelina Jolie at the red carpet meets the youthful Taylor Swift. The first thing that March will work on is an updo that's perfect for a Sunday lunch with the family. With the pegs in mind, I'm sure Vanessa will look marvelous in just a few minutes. Ito sa daytime, ang ginawa namin, kinulot muna namin siya kasi uh, gusto namin mas simple, pero uh, kinulot muna namin yung dulo, loose curl. Medyo loose ng konti kasi yun naman ang uso ngayon, hindi na uso masyado yung sobrang ayos na ayos. 
so now let's look at the daytime look, Vanessa. Ba? Wow! Oh, the ba? <laughs> Parang Rosaline, no? Parang lang na. Parang lang. Okay, so, ano, do you like it? Gusto ko siya, tas bagay siya doon sa damit ko. Sakto, sakto. The curls are very flattering, no? Tapos, bagay so, na bagay sa side. Oo, oh, oh. Maganda siyang tignan pag nasa side. Kasi yung pag nasa likod, ba't ko pa siya pinakulot mm -hmm. pag nasa likod? At tas hindi siya oe, kahit sobrang laki ng flower. Diba? Hindi naman masyado. Hindi naman. <laughs> sakto lang naman yan. Okay, so, the next look has to be perfect for a date under the stars. So, now that the basics, they're all done, it's up to the stylist to tweak it a little bit and mm -hmm. turn it into that nice Nighttime look. So let's go. Let's, let's go. Yes. Okay. Bye. Let's go. <laughs> Later. Okay. Hi, Apple March. Okay, we're here now. Okay, so Miss March, what's the step-by-step -step process? Ang ganyan natin yung mga pin ginawa natin kanina. Okay. Naka-off shoulder siya. Mas maganda kung nakalugay. Yan! She's all ready with her red lipstick and her new outfit. Okay, so do you like it? Oh, yes. Napaka-simple niya. Oh, oh. Tapos, Madali um, lang siyang gawin. Correct. Any, uh, kahit na anong damit mm -hmm. can go with you. With this, this one, since her hair is kind of simple, you can just wear shorts and a ruffled top. Ayan, with that simple makeup, nice hair, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. No? So... Thank you very much for Thank joining us. Much, I think you should head on over to your date. Oh, yeah. Sa bahay, maintay ka na niya. <laughs> May premiere night pa. Ah, premiere red carpet <laughs> event pa pala. Bye. Okay, thank you so much again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, but fashionistas with tips like this, I'm sure you can look like a princess at any given time. This has been Shanina. It's another Kikai mission accomplished. The craziest thing I've done for a woman. I don't know, like, I, I consider myself quite romantic, so where, where, wherever she likes, you know, I, I do it for her. Like, my past girlfriend, she liked animals, so I took her to this, like, zoo on Valentine's Day, and then, you know, I booked her a seven star hotel in London, and then we just chilled out, and you know what happened next. Uh, the craziest thing I've done for a girl is probably spend like loads of money on one of one particular girl who I was madly in love with. The craziest thing I've ever done for a girl is probably to propose to her in front of all of her friends. Um, that was crazy because I did it. The craziest thing I ever did for a woman was I drank one bottle of vodka by myself and I was supposed to make out with her but instead I puked all over her. I cried. I'm so sensitive. <laughs> I think the craziest thing I've ever done for a woman is lining up in, uh, at 6 in the morning for a very, for an international author. His name's Neil Gaiman. And we lined up to get his autograph just for my girlfriend. I left my friends in Bora just to go to Subic. I skipped school. The second outfit is actually 80s inspired, but still using very elegant stretch lace. So it's, it's got an elegant fabric, but with an 80s vibe. So it's sexy, it's body hugging, and it's a mini skirt, so. Dip a microfiber cloth into a solution of warm water and baby shampoo. Then wipe each and every pearl. Shopping, food trips, vacations, now you can win all these great prizes at the online auctions on WMN.ph. One spectacular prize a day will be auctioned off from August 29 to September 12. To bid online, all you need are the points you can earn at WMN.ph. Log on now and get clicking. Log in for 100 points. Post a comment for 50 points. Subscribe to the newsletter or email a friend for 50 points. Click on the mechanics plugs for 100 points. Type in the magic keyword you spot while watching the Q shows for 150 points. Click on a sponsor's leaderboard for 200 points. Click on a sponsor's display ad for 250 points. Click on a sponsor's TV ad for 300 points. 
Take a quiz for 350 points. It's that easy. And if you don't think you have enough, call your friends and combine your points with theirs for the win. Now you're ready to be the highest bidder. On Love to Watch, Love to Bid. Number two, I'm wearing something that's very classic. The colors are very basic, yet they're very romantic. Like the skirt, this ruffled skirt matches my nice ring, which has a big rose on it. And a nice white ruffled top, which is very, very mapresco and something that you could wear during the night or day with someone very, very special. And of course, you could actually wear it with classic like diamond rings or probably even pearls. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. We're still helping our style therapy patient, Sarah, choose the perfect dress for her anniversary date with her longtime boyfriend. I wonder how her second outfit looks like. For the second outfit, what do you have for us this time? The second outfit is actually 80s inspired, but still using very elegant stretch lace. So it's, it's got an elegant fabric, but with an 80s vibe. So it's sexy, it's body hugging, and it's a mini skirt, so. This one, you can go a little bit more adventurous with, you know, uh, really high heels, but also I think in gold, maybe you can play around with some bangles and earrings, but nothing on the neck again, because it's a boat neck. Sarah, let's see. could be probably the most basic and versatile accessory. They can match with your jeans, with your shirt, with a nice polo, or even the most classic cocktail dress. But the thing is, how do we take care of our precious pearls? Well, we're about to find out on TLC with the help of Jockas. At one point or another, a woman will either buy or receive pearls. After all, what is more classy or feminine than pearls? At dahil gusto natin ipamana to sa iba, like yung mga magiging anak natin, it's really important na ingatan natin ang mga ito. So it's time to learn a tip or two on how to give your pearls some TLC to make them last for generations. Sometimes pearls need a good cleaning because when we wear them, they get dirty from dust and all the makeup and perfume we use. Dip a microfiber cloth into a solution of warm water and baby shampoo. Then wipe each and every pearl. Huwag masayin ang necklace at baka maging marupok ito. Then let it air dry before storing. When it comes to storing your pearls, place them in a cloth pouch. Pearls are one of the softer gems so madali itong magasgas pag nadikit sa ibang alahat. Our pearls need to breathe, so don't place them in airtight containers or in the safety deposit box. It would be a good idea to wipe your pearls after you use them. Also, to make sure that your pearls will not get dirty, be sure to put them on after applying your makeup or perfume. And the last bit of info you should know is that you can have your pearl necklace restrung by a jeweler annually, just to make sure that the cord doesn't break. Simple lang, de ba? Just follow these tips and your pearls are sure to last more than a lifetime. Or thanks to Globe A Shopping for a TLC venue. And remember, fashionistas, everything needs a little TLC. At kung meron kayong matanong kung paano maaalagaan ang inyong mga gamit, mag-email lang sa amin. Just send it to fashionistasbyheart at gmanetwork.com. So until next time, take care! Regine Velasquez clearly exudes a theme of romance through her music and through her style. Her long flowing dresses and her overall sweet and sultry look add up to that romantic feel when you watch her sing those powerful ballads on stage. Like Regine, you can also give off that romantic feel to your style by wearing a simple floral dress such as this. Put on some waves to your hair to add that flirty vibe to your look. With a style as sweet as this, there's no doubt you'll catch the eye of that special someone. Dr. Vicky Bella is back, and she's back with a vengeance as Bella Essentials launched its newest products to the market at Lusso Greenbelt 5. And not only are they
currently launching the newest products, Bella Essentials is also launching its newest endorser, Bay Alonso. And on top of that, Bella Medical Group is also celebrating its 19th anniversary. With back-to-back -back celebrations such as this, Bella made sure that this event will be as fabulous as ever. We wanted to come up with something different. Um, we wanted to celebrate lifestyle as well as beauty. So we had Skin by Bello and Leather Skins by Balenciaga. Skin to Skins, what a perfect way to launch their product. take home these Balenciaga bags. This was indeed a night of success and celebration. For the fast-rising consumer brand, Bello Essentials, and the genius behind the company, Dr. Vicky Bello. More power! When we say romantic dressing, we think of lace and silk and yes, floral prints. Florals instantly make us feel feminine like a natural woman. When we think of flowers, um, super love you know my girls. So it becomes feminine um, and at the same time, flowers symbolizes um, romance. Shopping, food trips, vacations. Now you can win all these great prizes at the online auctions on WMN.ph. One spectacular prize a day will be auctioned off from August 29 to September 12. To bid online, all you need are the points you can earn at WMN.ph. Log on now and get clicking. Log in for 100 points. Post a comment for 50 points. Subscribe to the newsletter or email a friend for 50 points. Click on the mechanics plugs for 100 points. Type in the magic keyword you spot while watching the Q shows for 150 points. Click on a sponsor's leaderboard for 200 points. Click on a sponsor's display ad for 250 points. Click on a sponsor's TV ad for 300 points. Take a quiz for 350 points. It's that easy. And if you don't think you have enough, Call your friends and combine your points with theirs for the win. Now you're ready to be the highest bidder on Love to Watch, Love to Bid. of your ensemble by wearing soft yet three-dimensional fabrics like dotted Swiss, eyelet, crinkly gauze, or wind-worthy chiffon. Invoke your inner hippie with macrame slouch belts, a fringe embroidered piano shawl draped around your hips, or a tired peasant skirt. For my outfit number three, which I love because it's so comfy but yet it's dainty, something that you can use for that romantic date. Everything is from Pramod, even my accessories, which you could see. Bangles are the best, you could wear them with also anything, jeans or shorts, anything like that, and also a romantic date. And my favorite shoes from Chinese Laundry. Light as a feather, sweet as a whisper. All these romantic dresses bring out the femininity in us, especially wearing florals. But too much of florals can make us a bit more mature than our age. So here's Jokas to teach us the do's and don'ts wearing florals on personal shopper. It is every girl's dream to be swept off her feet in the perfect romantic setting. Yes, most women love romance. Some of us live the romantic lifestyle, though not necessarily in terms of being attached, but instead by adopting a very romantic fashion sense. And that's what we have for you today on Personal Shopper. When we say romantic dressing, we think of lace and silk and yes, floral prints. Florals instantly make us feel feminine like a natural woman.
Of course, when we think of flowers, um, super love yun ang girls. So it becomes feminine. Um, and at the same time, flowers symbolizes um, romance. The fit, um, the cut should be proportioned to your body type. When it comes to print, as much as possible, the smaller the print, the better. Because if it's bigger, it's more And then also, if you have those um, accents ng mga floral details, naman, when you have those cuts there, it needs to be a different place where the detail is placed in the dress itself. trying on those floral dresses but that is just the tip of the iceberg because next we will explore women's romance with the shoes for the shoe loving women from flats and ballerinas to mules and stilettos this next stop has it all for you actually it's the same also with the dresses um, you have your basic styles like example you have your peach toad you have your stilettos or sandals you can make it romantic depending with the one material or let's say you can have a print some material na yon, or also details like flower details. Today's personal shopper is indeed a memorable one. Now, if you want to go ultra feminine with your style, try being romantic with your fashion sense. And for sure, you will capture your Prince Charming's heart over and over again. Till next time, this has been Jocas de Leon. Happy shopping! Search 09 is an ongoing go see of Meg magazine. Okay, so now we're with Pee Wee, the editor in chief of Meg. So, Pee Wee, what is the idea behind this Meg Face Search? Well, Jocas, the idea was to, you know, basically make dreams come true for regular girls out there. You know, um, there's a lot of girls who want to become models, and so we thought of, you know, like um, discovering a fresh new face, a new talent who will grace the cover of um, the magazine. Face Search 09 is an ongoing go-see of Meg magazine. Like in a real go-see, girls who want to land on the cover would go through the process of one, registration. Step 2, the girls will enjoy fab makeovers. Step 3, they get to mix and match for the latest in fashion. Step 4, accessorize to the max. Step 5, strike a pose and smile. Jocks, I'm so excited to find out who will land on the cover of Meg magazine. Me too, Shanina, but you know what? This is just one of the many go sees of Meg Face Search 09 as they go around the metro looking for the lucky lady. See you on the next go see! Stock therapy patient has one. I have one. And my dress is by Miss Hindi Tantoko. Thank you very much. Okay, I love it. I love it so much. Now back to our stock therapy patient. Sarah, come on out. Shopping, food trips, vacations. Now you can win all these great prizes at the online auctions on WMN.ph. One spectacular prize a day will be auctioned off from August 29 to September 12. To bid online, all you need are the points you can earn at WMN.PA. Log on now and get clicking. Log in for 100 points. Post a comment for 50 points. Subscribe to the newsletter or email a friend for 50 points. Click on the mechanics plugs for 100 points. Type in the magic keyword you spot while watching the Q shows for 150 points. Click on a sponsor's leaderboard for 200 points. 
Click on a sponsor's display ad for 250 points. Click on a sponsor's TV ad for 300 points. Take a quiz for 350 points. It's that easy! And if you don't think you have enough, call your friends and combine your points with theirs for the win. Now you're ready to be the highest bidder on Love to Watch, Love to Bid. Reveal my first star therapy patient has one. I have one. And my dress is by Miss Hindi Tantoko. Thank you very much. Okay, I love it. I love it so much. Now back to our star therapy patient. Sarah, come on out. Wow, it's so nice. Beautiful. Turn around for the camera. Thank you very much. Now, how do you feel wearing this dress? It's I so love nice. this dress. It's nice. Now, what do you think about this dress? Why did you choose this dress for the final reveal? Well, like I was saying, right, nothing too exposed, but yeah. at the same time showing some personality mm -hmm. and, you know, giving off a bit of a sexy vibe. Yeah. And it's two-tone, so it's something unique. Yeah. A different. I and love this it. this is where so she nice. can experiment with her heels. Yeah. Some bondage heels and things like that. Okay, well, thank you. I'm so happy for you, Sarah. And thank you so much, Miss Hindi, for thank having you, us here Mark. in your store. And congratulations, and uh, have fun at that anniversary dinner date with your longtime boyfriend. Thank you. Okay, that's it for Style Therapy, everybody. This has been Heart. Till next week. All right, ladies, I hope you guys had a great time. I did. Now, remember by adding a simple element of romance, like a lacy detail on your tank top, a sweet scent, a simple updo, or a dash of pastel color in your shoe will definitely bring out the femininity in you. So ladies out there, if you have a fashion dilemma, you can email us at fashionistasbyheart at gmanetwork.com or you can look us up on Facebook and be our friend. That's Fashionistas by Heart. Or if you want to get a little bit more personal than that, follow me on Twitter, heart 2 This has been Shanina Jokas and I, Heart of Angelista for Fashionistas by Heart. I'll see you again next week.